So, students, let us try to solve the 29th problem. Basha company has branches at several places. The following information relates to the Mangalore branch which does not maintain books of accounts. The head office has maintained the books of accounts for the year ended 31st March 2008. Goods are always sent to the branch at 125% of the cost. 125% is nothing but 1 by 5 on cost because there are 5 25s in 125. So it's 1 by 5 on cost. So you should take 1 by 6 on sale. All the branch expenses are paid by the head office except petty expenses paid by the branch manager. Prepare Mangaluru branch account in the books of head office for the year ended 31st March 2008. So opening balance on 1st April. So we have opening stock 18,750 and opening data 10,400 will come in debit side. Transactions during the year at the branch. Cash sales 81,000 will come in the credit side. Credit sales into market will not come in branch account. Cash remitted to head office credit side. Furniture purchased by the branch debit side, sorry, credit side. That's called closing furniture. So whenever you purchase furniture in middle of the year, furniture is available. So therefore, it's treated as closing furniture. Goods invoiced to the branch is nothing but goods sent to the branch debit side. Expenses paid by the head office debit side. Expenses paid by the branch debit side because expenses debit all expenses and losses. Cash sent to the branch by head office for purchasing of billing machine. So machine is being purchased by the branch but the cash is sent by the head office. So closing balance on 3138. Closing stock 22500, closing data 13500 will come in credit side. Students, since they are given the closing data and opening data, no need to prepare the data's account. So opening stock 18,750, opening data 10,500 to goods received by branch 1,36,500. Then expenses paid by head office 12,300 debit all expenses and losses. Then uh, head office, uh, a branch office have paid expenses 900 debit all expenses and losses. Then uh, head office have sent money to buy a billing machine. So branch has purchased a machine for the purpose of billing. It's a machine to make bills. So this money is sent by head office. So to bank 9,750. Then by bank 1,12,500 that's called cash sales plus cash receipt from datas minus furniture purchased. So when you purchase furniture, you get 1,12,500 net amount. Then buy closing stock, buy closing data, buy closing billing machine because machinery is an asset. So therefore, there is a closing machine. Then there is a closing furniture. Then there is a stock reserve. Stock reserve is calculated on opening stock 18,715 to 1 by 6. Then stock reserve is calculated on goods received by the branch 136,500 into 1 by 6. Again stock reserve is calculated on the closing stock 22,500 into 1 by 6. There is no goods returned by the branch as such. Therefore, ignore this and you get a net profit of 675.